Hello, hello. Hello, Molly Millie. Hello, Arthur Holmes. Thank you for joining. I'm not going to be here really long, but I want to share something really quickly that was on my mind about sex, about Kundalini energy, about us being the ancestors right in our wrong. Hello, Flex. Hello, hello. I'm going to wait five more seconds and then I'll begin because I know they have a little delay on here. Okay, let's begin. So I wanted to talk to y'all real quickly about um, us being the ancestors and righting our wrongs as far as sexual energy is concerned. So I'm, I'm mentioning this because last night I live in New Orleans, Louisiana. And last night I went to this plantation downtown where they were having a, like a candlelit um, music, you know, outside, social distancing and everything, right? But they took us on a tour inside of this plantation. And inside this plantation, they allowed us to go upstairs, you know, and toward the home. And as I stood in the doorway of one of the bedrooms upstairs, I told the, um, the group, no, I, I, I don't want to come in. I'm fine because I know energy. I feel energy. I understand energy. And they were like, come on in. You could come in. I'm like, no, no, no. I'm good. Because at that pivotal moment, I felt some residue of some sex some toxic sexual energy in that area. I, I, it remains. Energy is not destroyed. It remained there. And it hit me clear as day. Like, you know how now in the physical reality, we have people that have brought forth this, this thought process when we say things like, oh no, he not big enough. Um, hurt me, baby. Beat it out the frame. Or, you know, choking necks and spanking asses. If we think back, in the physical reality, since we are the ancestors, there was a moment in the physical reality that was a lifetime where this was done, <laughs> not at free will, to certain beings in the physical reality. And but we still relive in it. We still we now we think that's the norm. Now we we relate to that. It's almost like you know how like the government at one point was passing out the free cheese, you know, to the to, to people that was on welfare, low income. And now in the physical reality, we know now that the cheese is nothing but mold, but we go back and, and we want it now. You know, we, we want double cheese now, you know. They they set the tone for it and we we can't, you know, we have a hard time getting it out of our mental Rolodex. It takes us lifetime after lifetime to clear that endless cycle. And the reason why I'm talking about it is because now, since I am in tune with energy, even sexual energy, now I better understand what Kundalini energy is. And so we bring in this toxic sexual experience as far as being beat and spanked and hurt me and harder. <laughs> to a sexual experience that's supposed to be based upon kundalini experience. And what kundalini experience is, is if you don't know, is when you open it up the portal of life. The woman is opening up, being receptive to the man, inserting himself inside of her. And they're really pretty much going to the cosmos together. They're really going back to heaven together, literally. Through their breath, they have all fire elements working in their favor. If you know anything about energy, the elements of the air, of water, <laughs> of the earth, you know, and so it's at that pivotal moment that, that the air that they're breathing is being exchanged from mouth to mouth. They're looking through each other's soul, the eyes or the window to the soul. They're inserting themselves into, you know, into each other, into the portal. This is a pivotal moment of a creation process of manifestation power. It is a very powerful moment because if you really think about it in layman's terms, what you're doing here is you're bringing forth life. It is so powerful, it can bring forth a baby that's going to look just like the two people that are interacting in the sexual exchange. However, we have a little bit of toxicity there when we're choking each other's neck. 
when we were spanking each other asses and we were trying to hurt each other physically while going into the cosmos. Now, when I talk about the cosmos or to the universe, what I'm saying here is like we're going back to God, to source energy. And it is, this is the most powerful form of energy there is that is based upon the foundation of love. And so I'm bringing this to your memory or allowing this, to, this thought to stimulate some idea of why you want to go to God choking somebody else. Why you want to go to God, you know, being hurt and be and having your ass spanked when you really could get together and be like-minded energy with your partner and go to God, like-minded energy, and go and get some blessings. Like, for example, before you have sex or, or intercourse, whatever you call it, with your partner, you get there, especially if they're, like they talk about in the biblical text, equally yoked or like-minded energy, you can get there with that person and say, okay, we're going in and we're going to have focus on our mind that we're going to bring forth some generational wealth. And we're, as, as we're climaxing, as um, you are penetrating or stimulating me sexually, I'm not going to think about the love that I have for you. I'm not going to think about that, 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 that penis. I'm not going to think about how your melanin shining and all of this here. I'm going to have my mind focused on the feeling of that generational wealth while you're stimulating me. You're giving me that feeling. I have this here in my head. So basically what I'm saying here is together with your partner, this is the perfect time to create an electromagnetic field of energy, right? And so this electromagnetic field of energy going to work in your favor because both of you are like-minded energies. If you know anything about the creation process, you need to feel it. So you're going to feel it from the penetration already. Because you're going to get excited from the penetration already. You need to feel it in your heart and you need to have that thought on your mind. So you'll be thinking about the generational wealth. And as you climax into your orgasm, you'll be feeling the orgasm. And instead of, oh, big daddy, I love you, or whatever you say during that moment, you could be saying, oh, it feels good to have generational wealth. It feels so comfortable knowing that all of my children and my grandchildren and great-grandchildren can be taken care of. And so when you get to that peak in that rush, you're thinking about that versus thinking about choking somebody's neck, thinking about spanking somebody's ass. Bring forth life during the Kundalini experience. And let's clear up that toxic residue that we got from other people that don't really know what our culture is like. Don't really know that they don't really know because they're not really vibrating on the frequency that we are. We're, we're two different types of beings, beings in the physical reality. I'm not trying to be against one being or the other because collectively all is God, but we all have our different programs in the matrix. So you stick to that which works for you based upon what your forefathers or ancestors taught you or what they are made of because we are made of this powerful form of energy called love. And when you're not vibrating on that frequency of love, you're not going to get everything. You might get some things, but you're not going to get everything that you want in its totality. So I just wanted to remind you all of that because that, that room, <laughs> that room in that plantation was like, oh my God. I, it, it was almost like, um, it was almost like, you know, even, even bad pregnancies, bad births, you know, um, blood, like, you know, it's almost like, you know, if you ever been to, um, a bad neighborhood and you had a red light or whatever, and, and you lock your car doors, you're just passing through because you kind of feel uncomfortable. That's that's how it felt, me standing in that room. It felt so toxic and uncomfortable. And I was like, no, 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 I don't, I don't want to come in there. I'm okay. Because I wanted to read the energy. I wanted to better understand the energy. And I'm thankful for that coming to my mind so I'll be able to be in a position to tell you all, I know it's really cool to have different sexual experiences and positions. Do you at that time? I'm not here to judge you. I'm just trying to share the message about the intent because it's all about the intent. It's all about the purity of the heart with everything you're doing here in the physical reality. It is so important how you feel. So It's so important. But we got to stop... We got to stop looking at others outside of us in the way that they doing things and, and call it ours, you know. We got to understand who we are and what we are. We pick up, like a lot of people, I feel like a lot of men in the physical reality probably learned how to have sex or don't know nothing about sex because they learn from maybe watching porn, you know. They, they learn from, you know, 
maybe watching a, a freaky movie or, or somebody telling them something that probably was wrong anyway. Because as you grow in your journey, you begin to realize that, <laughs> that a lot of the things that we were taught was acts backwards, you know, and it does not omit, you know, having sex. We were taught, some of us, that, you know, the rougher the better, you know, just hit it and quit it. Like, and, and that's not really, really who or what we are. And then when, so we get to like maybe 40, 30, 40, 50, we, oh, okay, well, I wasn't even really having orgasms. Oh, okay, I wasn't really, didn't know what I was doing. Because then the, the love energy, the understanding, the life experiences start to kick in then. So I'm just trying to catch somebody who may be ready to understand it today, today in this moment. It's okay to be the little freak in the sheet. It's okay to go wild and out and do what you want to do. All I'm saying here on this message here to you is while you there, if there is something that you need, don't forget that that is your creative power. You sleep it on the juices, the, the most powerful juices that can bring forth life, a whole being. You sleeping on that juice trying to choke somebody. <laughs> it's not time to choke somebody, babe. Thank you. Thank you all for joining. Hi, Tyron, a.k.a. Suma. Definitely agree. Hi, Trey. Thank you for joining. Thanks for your support. I appreciate you all being here. I just wanted to share that message with you all. This video is from my heart to yours, baby. Be blessed.